the area we're getting prepared for are getting a corner. Organic corner that we go with. Um, we've got just now, we've got ground over. We've got the ground on it, we've got it covered over. We'll try to get a bit of heat in there, keep the ground good for the tracks then. We're going to build four days to move on here, which are going to be all separately contained so we can do organic seeds. Therefore, there's no cross contamination, uh, cross pollination. We're going to have them pollinating all themselves. There'll be no open area here, they're well closed off. We're going to do some turnips, sweet corn, cabbage, and parsnips as well. The importance of doing the organic seeds is because we want to produce the seeds from the plant, not actually the end product, the vegetable. So, what is the difference between like the normal F1 hybrid seeds that we buy and these seeds? What's the what's the big difference? Well, if we're buying F1 seeds, which are hybrids, they will be produce more seeds. We can uh, take the seeds off. We can harvest them, replant them. With organic seeds, we can reharvest our, our seeds off them. So we'll grow these ones here, more seeds, which will overall save us money. So next year we'll have seeds from these plants that we can use to plant in other parts of the field, other than just having this one wee patch of organic seeds. We can have a whole area of organic seeds, which has saved us money to try things going forward. So right now we're doing ground preparation yeah, work. The ground prep in here, and then we're going to build raised beds on here. These raised beds will be covered with kind of like a small polytunnel, a cloche, and they'll be kept in that. So when we want to uh, pollinate these plants, we'll be introducing flies ourselves. So we'll buy fishing maggots and let them hatch inside the tunnel, and they'll cross, they'll pollinate them plants ourselves. They'll not cross pollinate because they'll not be getting to touch other plants. It'll just be separate plants for separate tunnels. Right. So therefore, they're not getting cross pollinate, uh, any cross pollinated or mixed. And is that a kind of step between? Um, uh, Open pollination and control pollination? Well, it's more like control pollination okay. because we try to keep them concealed. Right. Because if another, if the two plants were lying open side to side and the flies were going from plant to plant, that cross pollinates, therefore you're not getting your true vegetable then that the end product will be of a different plant itself. Not the, the product itself, but the seed won't be as strong as it could be. Excellent. So that's important to try to keep it covered over so it can't get cross pollinated. your soil up, making sure your weeds are free and stuff like that. As in, when we're doing it on a bigger scale on the field, we can use formosol and can just pretend to leave the plant to do its own thing. But in here it's going more hands on, just to make sure things are kept up to scratch. And that's called plant husbandry, is plant it? Plant husbandry, yes, just to make sure there's no dead leaves, no disease, to just keep a, a proper eye on it and it means we can monitor, monitor it easier in here for organic seeds. So when do you think we should come back so that we're seeing something starting to grow in this area? Well, the raised beds that we put in here, I'm hoping for next week for the raised beds we put in here, just waiting for it to dry up retouch. The raised beds we put in and then our seeds are going to get germinated in the pack, in the water, ca uh, water cabin to bring them on a bit faster and then they'll be in as soon as the weather changes. Excellent. So rather than wait until March to start germinating our seeds, we hope to do them early February so it's a lot faster. That's great, thanks very much Ronnie.